We're finally getting a taste of summer here. Mm. Thank you, Tom. Well, in celebration of a new eatery in Lexington, Caldo, it's today's recipe presented to us from this month's LAX 18 Spotlight Chef. And she's no stranger to us. Caldo <laughs> is primarily a bone broth business specializing in local pasture-raised beef and chicken bone broth. But, of course, they have smoothies, raw salads, fermented foods. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's fermented food? Yeah, is that good? Um, well, Alice and Davis. Well, <laughs> you'll have to come find out. But um, we have uh, sauerkraut that's local, organic, uh, fermented, like sauerkraut. And then we also have uh, Kentucky kombucha, which is a What did you just say? It's kombucha. A fer it's a fermented drink um, that's made from black tea or green tea. Yeah. And so if you start to read about gut health, which is what <laughs> primarily um, Caldo is focused on, is like, you know, just kind of eating and healing through the power of food sure. and uh, you'll read and find that fermented foods really have a lot of probiotics. Yes, um, yeah, so I've heard that. That yeah, could yeah, actually help you lose really some weight. That really helps um, just overall digestion, autoimmune. Right. I mean, yeah, sure. exactly. All right, well, this smells really good, but t bone broth, what? Okay, so it's the Are new trend. Are we doing bones? It's the new something trend. I mean, it came out, I guess, Good Morning America and some other shows was um, in January. It's sure. like the food trend of 2015. Okay. It's a lot like stock. It's not something that's new, though. It's an ancient kind of tradition of taking you know the bones with vegetables and aromatics and like bay leaves peppercorns all this flavor right. and then we cook it um, you know for like two or three days um, at a low simmer so what we're able to do is extract a lot of those nutrients and collagen and marrow and all of these things that are good for our body but turn it into a very savory um, enjoyable like hot beverage so the I idea like is <laughs> so the well, idea is like drinking, is, is yeah, yeah. the idea is like drinking this beverage um, for you know the medicinal benefits but okay. what we have here is we've taken our bone broth and then we've turned it into a soup which is what a lot of people do so uh, now right. at Caldo for the fall season we're talking about fall All earlier right. Right. Um, we're introducing our first bone broth um, broth bowl and so this okay. is called a Caldo Verde which is actually kind of a national Whoa. dish Whoa. national dish Whoa of uh, Portugal okay um, and it has kale potatoes carrots um, we took local pasture-raised pork okay. and then turned it into kind of like a chorizo with a, some chorizo spice blend sure. and um, just let that cook with a little lemon juice garlic it's just very fresh and um, somebody I was describing this to them and they said well it's a whole meal and I was like it yeah does. you're right yeah. it's a whole meal a bowl. and it's all whole foods um, that are in there everything from a local pasture-raised broth to local pasture-raised meats, to fresh organic kale, to, you know, so all these things that are, you know, a great benefit to you. And then what I have here, this yeah. is like a little add-in that we can add into the soup. It's very bright and colorful, but it's going to add a real pop of flavor. It's got what jalapeno, oh. cilantro, yeah. garlic, and some lime I juice like and wow. olive oil. So you that can just take good. a little bit of that in that's there. All you need, a little right. dabble, and do Yeah, and then just stir that in, and that's just going to be that real fresh, bright, you know, flavor of cilantro into your broth, into your soup. Yeah. Um, so Could yeah, I order that without the kale and carrots? Well, you can get the chicken broth without the kale. But yeah, you can get a cup of uh, chicken uh, bone broth just by itself. Could I just get the pork? Um, he wants I might to make be it able to. I might be able to get the meatballs just for you. Can we get this to go if we're not able yes. to sit? Everything is a grab and go kind of and uh, take service. It home? Yeah. Right. So we've been busy, and well, long good. time is still you know kicking, yeah. and we're still doing classes for the fall. But oh, now you can go to call them. Eight five nine five two three cook. That's the the phone number two six six five. Check out the website wildtimecooking.com. Good job, Alex. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Smells good. To good. Looks you yummy. too. We'll be right back.